how to create all kinds of weird and wonderful line designs using halftone effects in Affinity Photo, PC or Mac. Select a layer in Affinity Photo, go to Layer Menu and New Life Filter Layer, Colors and Halftone. There's a number of options, there's four, but however, combination of multiple halftones can be useful for creating all kinds of additional effects. So go here to Screen and Line. I'm going to decrease the cell size a bit, make it a bit thinner than that, about 18, 19. And also I'm going to change the screen angle, make it 330. And close that. You can also select this halftone. Make certain you don't select both. Just select the halftone. Right click and duplicate. And now you see you've got two halftones. However, at the moment, obviously they're both identical. Select the top one. And you can double click and you can change the angle. You can also change the cell size if you want as well. And you can do that and that will create additional effects as well as you change it back and forth. However, what I'm going to do, I'm going to change the angle. I'm going to go for about 225. You can just vary 240. What you want to create. However, once you've done that, that one's the top one. And you've got blend modes. So you can go here, blend mode, and you can turn around and say, I want darken, or multiply, or lighten. You can run through those to create a variety of different additional halftone effects. Maybe exclusion, or subtract. However, you can close that. You can also add additional ones, and a very useful one, blurs. So I'm just going to deselect that, and go to filters, no, then go to a layer and new light filter layer and blur and Gaussian blur. Now some of the others are quite useful as well. Motion blur would be useful as well. Gaussian blur. And then you can change the radius. Now I'm just going to increase that to about two or three. Also set preserve alpha to be on. So that's set. Now you'll notice what's happened. Let's put it above all the other layers. I don't want that. What I want to do is I want to select that and I'm going to just drag it down. And I can drag it down in between the half tone and the other half tone. So just drag that down. And you can see it changes just by doing that. Just put it down there, it will change it completely. And if I double click that, again it will bring up this panel and I can change the radius and you can see what happens when you do that. Just to blur creates much finer lines. However, what you can also do is you can always go to here, this half tone, the bottom one, double click that, brings up this panel, and you can change the cell size. You can also change the angle. And as you do that, you can see the whole, whole thing changes. However, go to this one. Now this doesn't modify it so much, but it does add some variation, as you can see as you change it, just a ripple, very ripply effects. And also you can change the screen angle, and that has a result as well. Of course, you can always go for maybe the others, color, monochromatic, circular, etc., and try out some variations of that. But I'm going with a line. And of course, you can always decide, you know what, let's go for a different blend mode. So soft light instead, and close it. And there of it, very quickly, a halftone effect, a line effect, that's slightly different from the usual halftone effect in Affinity Photo. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Always great to hear. Thank you much.